Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about Epsilon NFT. But before we start, a small information I'd like to share. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages, Hindi as well as in English. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. In our previous videos, we have already seen what is DFA and what is NFA. Today we are going to look into Epsilon NFA. Basically, Epsilon NFA we use in a non-deterministic finite automata. It is also known as Epsilon moves on NFA. Basically, it is a generalization of a non-deterministic finite automata. In Epsilon NFA, Empty strings are also given as possible inputs. It means whenever we are using a epsilon move, it means we are not consuming any input symbol, but still then we are moving from one state to other state. And it is represented in the form of a Greek letter epsilon. It is very convenient way of modeling the system whose current states are not precisely known. Till now we have discussed that Every transition requires an input symbol from one state to other state. But here what we are saying, no input symbol required to move from one state to other state. Is it possible in our day to day life? Let us see. How generally we prepare curd? We warm milk, put it at the night, morning it becomes curd. The property or the state in which the milk is there in the morning, the state changed to curd. Did we give any kind of input to it? No. It is a time span and some chemical reaction within it. Within that time span, it is changing milk state to curd state. It is a very relevant example for any epsilon move. Let us define a epsilon NFA. Like any NFA, epsilon NFA also requires the five tuple that is Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0 and F to represent. But the difference here is in Delta. When we are saying about Q, it is a finite set of states and it need not be 5. Sigma is the input alphabets and Delta is the transition function. In NFA basically, it is Q cross Sigma 2, 2 to the power Q. But along with Sigma, we are including Epsilon here. As usual, Q0 is the initial state and F is the final state. Let us see an example. Design a epsilon NFA over 0, 1 and 2 such that the automata accepts string of any number of zeros followed by any number of 1s followed by any number of 2s. So let us see the strings what this language accepts. So we can start with epsilon. We can have the zeros. We can have 1s. We can have 2s. But whenever there will be 1, before that, if possible, we will be having 0. Before 2, we can have 0. But after 2, we need not be having 0 or 1. After 1, we cannot have zeros like that. So it means we can say number of zeros, number of 1s, then number of 2s. It means I can write 0 star, 1 star, 2 star. So 0 star, we can represent this with Q0 as the starting state and 0 star can be represented with this loop on 0. Similarly, if Q1 is a state, then 1 star can be represented in the form of this loop. Similarly, 2 star can be represented in this form. So from Q0 to Q1, I can have a epsilon transition and from Q1 to Q2, I can have an epsilon transition. So this is a epsilon NFA that accepts a number of zeros followed by number of 1s, followed by number of 2s. Let us see his transition table. If you are at state Q0 and give input symbol Q0, it will be at Q0. On 1 or 2, it will be 5. And on epsilon, it is going to Q1. Similarly, for state Q1 and for state Q2, where Q2 is the final state. Let us design one more epsilon NFA. Over 0, only one input symbol is given. 
that will accept even number of zeros or number of zeros supposed to be divisible by 3. We have already seen this kind of problem. So a NFA with even number of zeros will look like this. A NFA with number of zero divisible by 3 will look like this. We have already seen this problem. So this is the epsilon NFA that we'll get for this particular problem. Now let us combine these two NFA that we got. We have taken another state Q0 and from here we have taken a epsilon move to Q1 and another epsilon move to Q3 and this becomes a epsilon NFA that accept even number of zeros or number of zeros divisible by 3. I hope you understood both the problem. Let us see one more thing under epsilon NFA that is called epsilon closer. Epsilon closer is a set of all states which are reachable from the state QI on epsilon transition. There are two properties for that. First property is epsilon closer of any state is the same state. And apart from that, if there exists an epsilon closer of QI, that is QJ, then on QJ again we have to take epsilon mode. And let it be QM. Then epsilon closer of QI will be QI itself, then QJ and then QM. We need to know epsilon closer because in our next video, we are going to use epsilon closer to find some other problems also. So let us try to find epsilon closer of a given problem. This is a epsilon NFA and for this epsilon NFA, for each and every state, we need to find epsilon closer. What is the meaning of that? The meaning is without investing any of the input symbol, what is the maximum number of states I can traverse? So according to the definition, epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0, Q1, Q2. How? Because epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0 itself. Already we know it. Then on Q0, epsilon transition if we give, it will come to Q1. Now we'll add this Q1 to this epsilon closer already we got. So epsilon closer of Q0 becomes Q0 and Q1. Again we'll check the epsilon transition of Q1. Epsilon transition of Q1 is Q2. You can see here, this Q2 will be added to the already got epsilon closer. That is Q0, Q1, Q2 will be our new epsilon closer of Q0. And to Q2, if I do a epsilon move, I'll get 5. So I need not add it. So that's why epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. Similarly, let us try to find epsilon closer of Q1. We are saying it will be Q1 and Q2. How? Epsilon closer of Q1 is Q1 according to the first formula. And let us try to find epsilon transition on Q1. So epsilon transition on Q1 is Q2. So we'll be adding this to the existing epsilon closer. So epsilon closer of Q1 becomes Q1 and Q2. Now, and let us try to find the epsilon transition Q2 and it is 5. So we need not do anything. Similarly, we can find epsilon closer of Q2 is Q2. Let us take one more epsilon NFA and try to find the epsilon closer of each and every state. Epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0 itself. Fine, because of property 1. And there is no epsilon transition here. And we will not get any more epsilon moves here. So, epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0 only. Let us try to find epsilon closer of Q1. According to the first rule, epsilon closer of any state is itself. So, epsilon closer of Q1 is Q1. And having epsilon move on Q1, I can move to Q2. So, this Q2 will be added to the existing epsilon closer. So, epsilon closer of Q1 becomes Q1 and Q2. Now, let us take epsilon move on Q2. It is Q0. Now, add this Q0 to the existing epsilon closer. So, epsilon closer of Q1 become Q1, Q2 and Q0. I hope you understood this. Now let us try to find epsilon closer of Q2. So it is Q2. Again we will find epsilon transition on Q2. So it is Q0. And I want to add this to the existing epsilon closer. So epsilon closer of Q2 becomes Q2 and Q0. I hope you understood what is epsilon NFA and how to find epsilon closer. 
in our upcoming videos we are going to discuss more about it so see you then take care bye